half empty when it comes to firms, but half full when it comes to households. And that's where we're seeing the good news. We're seeing an increase in the labor force participation. Uh, we saw that pretty much everyone from the numbers who went in uh, last month to get a job, got a job. That's good news for households. Uh, so if you believe the household survey, things are looking up. Uh, it's a broader based survey. It includes self-employed. So all that new business formation may be counted. And it, and it may be the case that the establishment survey is starting to lag the good news in the household sector. It's still too soon to tell. It's very difficult to make sense the mar it's very difficult for the markets to make sense of this when it's difficult to factor in what policy decisions follow on from it, isn't it? Richard, it, it's the way the markets read the report. Uh, they're trying to decipher whether the Fed sees this as good news or bad news, not whether the economy sees this as good news or bad news. And from the Fed's perspective, they can create the narrative that they want, because so many of these terms, full employment, for example, are so hard to define and haven't been defined clearly. So when the Fed says mission is accomplished, liftoff is uh, met, those conditions have met, uh, they'll do so uh, without really giving us hard numbers on when that happens. And that uncertainty is being played out in the market. I was looking at the uh, unemployment rate just prior to the uh, to, to, to the pandemic, and we were about down at about 3.5, 3.6%. So we're still talking about 0 0.7, uh, uh, which doesn't sound much, but on a scale of only 4.2, it is quite a lot, large amount. And in terms of numbers of people, it is still, we've still got some way to go to get back to where the U.S. was. Yes, I mean, we're still 5 million workers short of where we were pre-pandemic. And recall before the pandemic happened, the Fed narrative was very clear. Their uh, stance was that the economy could tolerate lower levels in inflation and low lower levels of unemployment rate. And so it was okay to keep interest rates at record low mm -hmm. levels because there wouldn't be a challenge on the inflation side and there would be gains right. on the labor side. Now that narrative has been challenged. It doesn't look like you can have your cake and eat it too from the Fed's perspective. And so that's where we're seeing the double step here. And that's again, being reflected in the market volatility. Well, the danger, of course, I mean, well, uh, uh, an issue for another day is the danger, of course, whether or not both sides of the dual mandate are now called into question. Good to see you, Nella. I appreciate it. Thank you. Have a lovely weekend.